This is going to be boring and tedious for some of you. Interesting for maybe just a few of you. My 78s. We've got through every single one of them. Brace yourself. You have the Bales Brothers. This is a good one. Kind of a country gospel band from the 40s. Searching for a Soldier's Grave. Good song. B-side is As Long As I Live. So, this is the Bales Brothers compilation CD. Take a look at them. And both of those songs are on there. As Long As I Live. And searching for a soldier's grave. It's two and three. All right, so there's that. Roy o Acuff wrote both of those songs. Never knew that. Another Bales Brothers. Read Romans 10 and 9. See the Bales brothers wrote that one. And uh, Come to the Savior. Good song. Book will do it. Both of those songs are also on the compact disc. See there? Track 21. Track 21. Don't see Romans 10 and 9 on here. Yeah, 20. 20 and 21. It's like they've got these in order of the listing. Here's another Columbia one. And this is a different Columbia label. Pretty cool looking. Right there, Onward Christian Soldiers by Arthur Siegel and the Columbia Male Quartet. You can see that's a, this record is a, uh, a almost, not poor condition, but got up some scratches. Stand Up for Jesus, on the other side. Interesting Columbia label. All right. Next one. This one looks like a one side. Indeed, it is. This is a one sided Victor. Uh, the Trinity Choir, Blessed Assurance. Fanny Crosby was the co writer. And then No B side. So it's one of these guys. A 10 inch. Uh, I think all these are 10 inch, by the way. None of them are 12 inch. That is cool. Look at that. 60, 60 cents each. And it's got a lot of... It's got this long thing on here. This is uh, something that you don't see very often. The one-sided 10-inch 78. And then we got a DECA label. The Southern Airs. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Negro Spiritual, this is by yep, the Southern Air, and then the B-side. Going to shout all over God's heaven. That's the A-side, actually. Another Negro Spiritual. That one's in fairly decent shape for a 78. Alright, this is the another Victor. Oh, this is a nice sleeve, too. It's got that little protective thing in there. You don't see often on the 78 sleeves, but the Victor, God so loved the world, and the other Trinity Quartet is the A-side, Christ the Lord has risen today, the um, all right, Mozart, but this was not It's not written by Mozart, though. Maybe it's the Mozart arrangement or something, but 
It was Charles Wesley that wrote it. Same one who wrote Hark the Herald Angels Sing. This is what we refer to as the Victor Batwing label because it's got these little wings here. I'm calling them the, the Victor BW. All right, next one is... Here's a couple Columbia. Here's a Columbia one. Uh, Bob Atcher, Long Gone Baby. Bob Atcher, One Little Teardrop Too Late. No sleeve. Some of these don't have sleeves. All right, so this one is a is a 78 vinyl. You can see it's, I can bend it, and it's a demonstration copy. You see the night Knock for Sale. Lucy Ann Polk. Go to the A side first. Uh, if I knew you were coming, I'd bake the cake. Anyone know that song? I don't know if she did the popular one, but B side. It's so nice to have a man around the house. Kind of a interesting. This thing may have been made like in the early fifties. Bluebird series. That's why you've got the vinyl. I think it's kind of a later. But most of these are like forties, maybe some thirties. Another demonstration. Copy it says, I like how it says non breakable. It's definitely breakable. When the Lord calls for his own, the original stamps quartet, and then the other side is Jesus gave this one to me. Demonstration copy, I believe. Yeah, radio station copy. You can see it under the, the sticker there, and I don't know the label of this thing. What is the label? I can't see a label because it's covered up. By the sticker. Dang. All right. Another one side, and this is a. Hey, there we go. Louise Hor Louise Horner doing Christ the Lord has risen the day. There you go. Charles Wesley gets the credit here. This is an excellent condition one too. Look at the look at the seventy eight. There, the shellac. These are made of shellac, by the way, except for that one that's that was the made of the vinyl that I could bend. So Louise Horner, Christ the Lord has risen today. On the Victrola. This is the Victrola Batwing. And it's a one sider. And look at the back. It's got that Victor back. Oh, that is a cool design right there. Look at that. Excellent. Now, I would call this very good condition. Very, very good. One, probably, this might be the best condition. 78 I've got. It's a good song, too. Louise Horner. Let's go to Decca, Jack Simpson, and DM Coates. All right, so this is a something different. This is like almost a... This is almost like an EP... Kind of thing is another Christ the Lord has risen today, and some kind of a this looks like a like Latin title here. Oh, file et file, ye sons and daughters. Jack Simpson, DM Coates, and chimes and organ on the Deck of Faith series. It's almost like an EP because it's got two songs on both sides, but you don't see a break in the shellac. Like you would on, say, a 12-inch 78. So you don't see a break. It just, I guess it just cuts to one song. It just goes into the next song. Interesting stuff. All right. Let's go to the next 78. And this is going to be... This is another one probably made in the early 50s. It's George Beverly Shea. I'd rather have Jesus. This is one he wrote. And the King of All Kings, Stuart Hamblin, wrote that one. He's got a good story. The, and again, this one, so this is RCA Victor. I just know, even though it's covered up. And it looks like it is a demonstration copy because of that white label. All right, we got a new label here, the Harmonia Records Corp. Corp. This is uh, Ted Min. Hammond organ, Lee Pepper on piano, Barker roll, Stars in Your Eyes is the other side, Harmonia, Harmonia Records Corp. It's got little harps, 
on the label, little music notes, New York City. Pretty cool stuff, boys. All right, this is uh, Patricia and So Long Sally by Eddie Howard and his orchestra on the Mercury label. First Mercury label. Eddie Howard and the vocal group, non-breakable, you're right. Okay, and it's made in Chicago. Got some scratches. Another label, uh, the Gateway label. So here's one that's got the, a break in the vinyl, and it's got a couple, it's got another break too, but on the Gateway Records, this is a rare label, the Roy Cliffs. On the A side, you have Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and White Christmas, featuring the Baldwin Orgasonic Spinet Organ and the Baldwin Piano. The other side is Santa Claus is Coming to Town and Jingle Bells. So you can see, if you can get that, yeah, see the little break right here? That's the, the little pause between the songs. And the other side, you can see it too here. It's a really beat label. I mean, a very beat record. Look at all that, the scuffs and scratches. We also have a major chip right here, a major chip, which takes out the first part of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Interesting label, though. Next one is almost unreadable. So this one we got a, this is the perfect label. And this is What'll I Do by the Casino Dance Orchestra. Other side is called A Distant Caravan by the same, that's the B side. And we have a brown shellac there, boys, on 78. Interesting there. Brown. It's got a little chip here. See that little in the... In this part here, before the before the actual song plays, so it's got a little chip there that, that would need to be noted, and another smaller chip right here. P the perfect label. It is far from perfect. Let's see what it's got there. It's got like a little. Oh, it's got like these two women. It looks like and on their knees praying or something. And there's a little. It's a cool label. All right, next one is the looks like a children's no, it's a top hit tune top hit tunes label. So this one we got three songs on the A side. I want to be happy cha cha, forget me not, queen of the hop, um, Jerry Dwayne. Is it four? Let me see. What the heck? <laughs> These are like stuck together. Okay. Okay, so it's four, Caravan. Um, yeah, so you can see the one, two, there's the break, three, you can see a little break there, four. And then on the 78 RPM, and then on the other side, it's T for two, cha-cha, near you, Susie Darling. I got a feeling. These are different bands. You got like Enoch Light, Rod Gregory, Lauren Baker, George. Johnny Hines. So different ones for each. Different artists for each. Enoch Light again. Top hit tunes, boys. A rare one. All right, the Imperial label. With the stars there. Slim Whitman. Doing Rosemary. And then uh, we stood at the altar. Slim Whitman. There we go. Next one is... So here's a children's record. And this is a red... Label. Most of the children's records you see are the smaller, like the 7-inch 78s. This one is a 10-inch 78. Peter Pan Records. It's got the little picture there. A little schoolhouse or something. That's kind of cool. Uh, Savior, Teach Me Day by Day. Jesus, Tender Shepherd, Hear Me by Jack Arthur is the singer. Directed by Vicki Kaysen. Got an organ on there, and then we got Jesus Loves Me and Children of the Heavenly King. A little Sunday school music, and you're a Sunday school teacher. Jack Arthur, very scratched up. In case you didn't know, most children's records will be pretty scuffed up for obvious reasons. But a nice uh, orange kind of label there, Peter Pan Records. Next one is a very rare label, the Young People's records working on the rails this is also children's you can just tell by the picture of the label there a, a child listening to a little box record player that's a cool label 
working on the railroad story by James Williams. So it's like a story with a song it's sung by Tom Glazer. You might know who he is. Told by Norman Rose. Other side is working on the railroad. So this might be a part one and a part two. It's either a part one or a part two, or it's just the same on both sides. Next one is the Crown Label. You don't see this one very often. This is Tommy Tucker and his Californians. Pretty well known at the time. Tom, Tommy Tucker. And then it's Good Evening, Mr. Nightingale. Other side is Buell Parade. The A side is Buell Parade. Got a little sticker here. Someone put or a little like piece of tape. Look how beat that record is. My goodness. It might play through, but that thing is scuffed and scratched and just beaten. This would be probably listed as a poor condition. I would say that's a poor condition. Okay, OK label. It's a pretty common label. Roy Acuff and his crazy Tennesseans. We saw an or Ray, or Ray Acuff song earlier. Wabash Cannonball, a very well-known song by Roy Acuff. And the other side is Freight Train blue, Blues. Another Decca. Richmond's Harmonizing Four. Formed at Dun uh, uh, Dunbar Elementary School back in the 1920s. One of the most successful gospel bands, group, singing groups, of Richmond got some national notoriety. The Harmonizing Four, excellent, excellent group. When I've done the best I can, then my Savior will come, will carry me home. It's the A side, and then the B side, written by Hansley Williams. I done done what you told me to do. I've got a, a record of them. On the, made it to the DECA label in New York. Harmonizing four, baby. Tops record. So I have I have um, a couple of seven inch L uh, seven inch vinyl EPs of Tops here. Tops, let me see if I got it. Here perhaps. All right, so this is um, another one of these. You can see the breaks and the dead wax. Two songs on each side. No more. That's all I want from you, Mimi Martell. Mimi Martell and the Rhythm Airs. Nat Charles and his and his orchestra. And the other side has the same band. Open up your heart and melody of and let the sunshine in. That's that's Isa Ash down in the chorus. And Melody of Love is the Rhythm Ears. Two songs each side. Another Victor. Narcissus by Victor Consort Orchestra. Pretty good condition here from Walter. This looks like a, I think this is a classical song. Uh, Spring Song is the B-side. Also a fairly good condition. Uh, if you clean this, it would be just a little, little alcohol. It should be good. Is the B side the Victor label? It's the, just a familiar Victor dog label. Next one's a rare, a pretty rare label. The broadcast recordings. Ken Griffin, pretty well known organist, doing a gay ranchero, and then the other side is Ken Griffin doing Mickey. <laughs> Not the Tony Basil song, I don't think. I'll have to play it and see if it is. <laughs> Not Tony Basil. The broadcast recordings, Chicago. And this has got some wear to it. Next one is another rare label, the Bible Tone. Christian Science Hymns. hymns. Wow. This is from New York City. Saw Ye My Savior. Words by Mary Baker Eddy. Sung by the Christian Science WNBC radio program mix quartet. Interesting. Other side is the It Matters Not What Be Thy Lot. Is the B side, the Bible tone, pretty good condition. Wow, this is a real old one. I can just tell by how stiff the 
78 is. The Skating Rhythms. It's got little skates on there, a rare one. Electronically recorded. Let's see. The A side is Wanted a Pal by the Name of Mary, Glenn Davis, featuring Glenn Davis, not the former Houston Astro slugger. On the Hammond organ, Waltz. And then the other side is the Where the Apple Blossoms Fall. Right there, okay. Just a note about the about 78s in general. So you got the label number here, 213, label of skating rhythms, artist, song. And this little thing, can you see that right there? It's that little number right there. It's called the Dead Wax. And this is just notes the the take number. Like the studio take number, 213. It should be like the final take, more than likely. And then they, sometimes they'll have something like this, like a B for B side. Um, here it's SR213A. So you'll see that on virtually every single 78. This is the Majestic. Some of them are difficult to see. The, the Majestic label, it's got the little eagle on there, and Ralph Font and his rumba music, rumba and E minor, and ole ole. Very beat condition. All right, Bullet Label, always a smash hit. <laughs> It's kind of like a, it's got like a bullet and a target. Okay, the vocal by Bob Lamb, Frank with Fra it's Francis Craig and his orchestra as their artist. Red Rose is the A side. B side is Near You. It says smash hit. MGM is our first MGM. A side, the Corn Cobblers play since they stole the spittoon. But that's a good one. Since they stole the spittoon from the corner saloon. Vocal by Stanley Fritz. And then B side is the sample song. Good condition on this one. The MGM likely... No, it's not a good condition. We have a hairline fracture here. It's not really broken, but it's very close to just... You would just call that a crack. It would play through... It's got, you can, up here it would really be audible, but, and then on the back. So there is a crack in this one. The next one is a the Star Day label. Jerry Hopkins doing Mama Baby. And I think this is, this might be some early R&B rock and roll. Like 50s, I think, I think it's 50s. My Everlasting Love. I could be wrong with that. Jerry Hopkins. It's like, some of these artists, you just... Wonder if they even have a Wikipedia entry. <laughs> Music Craft. The Poketeers. Frank Novak and the Poketeers. The A side is Whistling Waltz. The Music Craft label. You can see the number there in the Dead Wax. B side is Continental Swing Song. All right, next one is the Vocalion label. So this is really like way back in the 40s. Irving Kaufman, I mean, this thing is just classic look of like an old Victrola player. The only, only one, and then the other side, the, the A side, O Katharina. And there's a strange like glue or something here. Vocalion label. All right. Getting towards the end. We've got four more to go. So this is another Victrola Batwing. Al Mag uh, Silent Night, Holy Night. Al McGluck, Paul Reamers. Oh, it's a, another one of these. One side. There we go. All right. Another Columbia... Song by Henry Burr, All Hail the Power of Jesus' Name. Holden is the writer. I'm trying to see the writer name. Song by Henry Burr. And then there's a green hill far away. Columbia 
records. All right. All right, we got the best for last. Let's see. First, let me do this one. I think this is the Coral, yeah, Coral label. We have Bill Darnell doing M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S -S -I -S -S -I Song about duck. Southern Gentleman. Roy Ross and his orchestra. Vocal with the Heather Tones. Other side is the is a Gone Fishing. Vocal with the Heather Tones and Ray Ross and his orchestra. Very dirty. 78. And it does have some scuffs and scratches. Okay. And now we got a couple of real good ones. We have Dew Tone. Very beat record. Dew Tone. The Penguins, the 1954 smash hit, Earth Angel, Will You Be Mine? Another great vocal group, the Penguins. This is very, it's got, you can see there's a little crack. This will play though, but it's very bad condition. And Hey Senorita is the B-side. Los Angeles, California, there's the address. Someone look that address up, see if this, see if the do tone is still there. It's not there, but anyway, yeah, the... The Penguins, very well known, early mid '50s, kind of pioneer of doo wop, early rock and roll, R and B, great band. All right, and then finally we have the next to last, Little Richard on the Specialty label. Richard Pinnamans, the Specialty label, also had like the Soul Stirs, Sam Cooke, and a bunch of others. Little Richard and his band is the credit here. Incredible. Long Tall Sally. Smash hit. Also covered by the Beatles. Slipping and sliding. Peeping and hiding. You can see his credit there. R. Penniman. Richard Penniman. Uh, Long, Tall, Long Tall Sally was Johnson. Okay. Forget the first name. Johnson. And then finally, we have a rare... 12 inch this is not a 78 this is a 12 inch mungo jerry in the summertime a special like radio uh radio station copy and it's even like it's got like this label was printed on a typewriter janice records is the label of course everyone knows the song uh, mungo jerry this is a 33 and a third, not 78. I think it's a 33 and a third. I'm pretty sure it is. I haven't played it in forever. All right, so this is a 10 inch 45 RPM. 45 RPM speed, one side. Definitely not 78. I do not have a 78 speed. I used to, the old one that croaked, but just 33 and 45. All right, so that's it, my 78s. Hope you enjoyed a little trip down into the deep, deep past. All right, guys. Thanks for watching My 78s. Pretty much covers all of my records. All right. Long live vinyl and shellac.